Hello guys and welcome once again to the same workshop and welcome to another tutorial. In this couple of weeks, I get several call of people asking me for boxers universal measurement. So in this video, I'm going to give you my own measurements and how I do it. So in this video, we're going to use large, extra large and extra, extra large because we have some critical fat people on the planet. <laughs> if you are fat, don't be annoyed, but there are some very well endowed people that use extra extra large so in this video i'm going to give you guys a measurement chart that you can use basically there's no measurements like um there's no universal measurement for cutting a locally made boxers like this ones but i use i have a personal one that i use that i decide to share with you guys so all we're going to need is going to be our waist our length and our lap or if you call it a tie our lap or if you call it tie whatever you call it so these are just the three measurements we are going to use so for the large the large measurement uh, the large can actually go for a person wearing between 29 waist between 28 waist to around 34 waist so this large uh, measurement will be okay for that person because we're going to it's going to be an elastic so you guys should not forget so the waist is going to be at 34 exactly the one we did in the tutorial in the box boxer cutting tutorial so the waist is going to be 34 the length is going to be at 16 and the lap is going to be at 24 which will be 12 that's 24 divided by 2 which will be 12 so this is for the large the waist is going to be 34 the length is going to be 16 the lap is going to be 24 so when it comes to extra large the waist is going to be at 40. This waist, don't forget, even though it's very big, it's at 40. After you add your um, elastic, it's still going to shrink to around 30, 36. So a person that wear a waist measurement of 36, 38, 40, and even 41, 42 can still wear this same measurement. I hope you're getting this uh, a person that wear a waist of 36 34 36 38 and 40 can still wear, wear this extra large waist measurement so the length is going to be as well as 16 and the lap is going to be at 30 30 so you guys are getting the length is going to be 16 and the lap is going to be at 30 so that's for the extra large so when it comes to extra extra large the waist is going to be at 44 44 the length is going to be at 18 and the lap is going to be at 34 that is for extra extra large so a person that wears size 42 size 40 um, a person that wears size 40 42 and 44 we're still going to wear this extra extra large size of boxers and the lap is mostly between 30 32 if you are wearing a lap of more than 36 definitely we need to <laughs> i don't want to say that but that is just the basic measurement for extra extra large extra large and large so um, you guys can just take a screenshot now so when you're cutting you're going to follow this process for your mass production and don't forget to add your um add up to like 2.5 inch to your crutch cuff for each of them 2.5 inch your crutch cuff let me just write it here crutch cuff crutch cuff that's cc this should be like um for this make sure you add 2.5 for your crutch cuff after you let me just draw something here let me draw it here after you cut your after you mark your boxes like this this side for your crutch cuff your crutch length and your crutch cuff here somewhere like this make sure you have it like 2.5 here 2.5 your crutch cuff this side make sure you have it like 2.5 sorry make sure you have it like 2.5 for this extra large make sure you have it at 3 inch and this extra extra large make sure you have it at 3 inch your crutch curve must be 2.5 3 inch and 3 inch 
for each of them so that is it about this video take a screenshot and use it for your mass production i hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you guys on my next video peace